in an election between two candidates, 10% of the people did not vote. Winning candidate won the election by 1080 votes and it was found that he had been supported by 60% of the total number of votes polled. So out of votes polled, 60% vote polled to the winning. So definitely 40% is the loser. And that two difference is 1080. Which of the following can be the number of votes, number of votes recorded for each candidate? Now, winner and loser, how much they would be. There are different ways. One way you can see options and we will check the options. I will discuss that one. But before that, no option. Only I want to solve the problem. If I want to solve the problem, in which way I can visualize it? The 10% data I am not keeping in, in mind. Because votes polled, which of the following can be the number of votes recorded for each candidate? So out of the vote polled, this is recorded. And I can see that winning candidate, winning candidate and the loser, these one are getting 60% of the vote polled and 40% of the vote polled. So their gap is 20%. 20% of the vote polled is nothing but equal to 1080 because it has mentioned that 1080, it is the gap. And three times of 1080 would be the winner and two times of this will be the loser. So if I get these two, I will be able to get that winner and loser these two information. So winner will be three times of it. Three, two, four, zero, only one option is there. No, no, there is again another option. And two times of it means 16, two, two, one, eight, zero. So two, one, eight, zero, two, one, eight, zero. Hey, sorry, sorry, sorry. One mistake. 16. 2160. So 3240 and 2160. This would be my answer. This is the answer here. Without going by option. Now, this is our conventional method. Conventional shortcut method. But there is again another type of shortcut from option. As options given, without solving it, I know that 1080, it is the gap between them. Now, is it 1080 gap? No, it is not. So I am just reducing number of options. If I can reduce number of options, it would be sometimes easier also. Here, what is the gap? 1080 is the gap? 1080. Hmm. So it is also not here 1080, it is the gap. Yes. Here it is not. Here it is. So only gap finding without that percentage and any other thing. Only gap finding will also give me the answer option C. So this way, some of the time we can save our required time. So conventionally, with a basic concept, we can do it, not write any kinds of equation, just try to visualize the data and solve it. Or sometimes from option you go to solve it. 